my own Almost glad to be alone Until love came in On time Oh, on time Loving is channel And thank you so much for being here today If you're new to my channel, welcome to Force of Nature So today I realized that I have a lot more Like witchy subscribers lately And I figured I might as well do something more On that end of my channel So basically I decided that I'm going to be doing a DIY If you don't know what an athame is an athame is a witch tool that is shaped like basically a really cool like dagger or knife if you will and it's used in your practice or craft or whatever you'd like to use it for and the witches like to use them for plenty of things so it doesn't matter it's all up to you and everyone's path is different of course anyways um if you go to a store they're usually around eh, $80 the cheapest you could probably get one is $50 you know a genuine handcrafted one I decided that you know I don't have money to just throw around to get an $80 Athame, so I decided why not make one myself. I literally made the one I have out of a butter knife I'll Show you guys exactly how I do it And I really hope that you guys can get the same result as me because I am in love like I literally I'm so proud of this I can't believe how good it actually came out But anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm making this today. So if you're interested, please keep watching So here are two different butter knives. It doesn't matter what you use I'm going to be using the one with the flower on it but basically you just want to make sure it's a thin butter knife. It doesn't really have to be thin as long as you are willing to put in the work to make it. But yeah, I'm just going to be carving this. So as you can see, I'm just working at it here. This is pretty much all you're going to be doing until you get the desired shape that you're looking for. So basically, this is the shape that I'm working with right now. I'm actually pretty proud of this. Um, our stairs aren't like regular cement. They have like many rocks inside of them, so it left a few scrapes. But I'm actually happy because I feel like it gives it character. As you guys can see, I have two of the same knives. Luckily, we have a ton of these, so I can show you the difference. But this is the difference. This is the one I carved, of course, and then this is the one opposed to it. So the amount of time it's going to take to carve this all depends on the shape you want and how much work you put into it. So in this next step, I'm basically going to be using this hemp twine. Um, all you have to do is wrap it around the knife after you add the handle. This is going to complete the process after gluing our handle onto the knife. So for the handle, I'm going to be using a stick. Yes, I said it, a stick. What you're going to want to do is basically section it off as big as you'd like your handle to be on your athame. So, so far, as you can see, I have some of them glued on there. You're going to want to add a full stick on the back, and but then on this side, you're going to want to section off in little sections because we are going to be crossing our hemp string in the middle and in between as we wrap our string. So, as you can see, I have my handle glued on. On this side, like I mentioned before, I did use a full stick. And then, of course, on the other side, you're going to be using smaller sections so that you can cross the string in between. So this is where I changed it a little bit and I decided to put a thicker base as the hemp string is very thin so I decided to use yarn just to start off the base before I wrap my hemp on there. So I'm actually quite excited because I didn't expect this to turn out to be as sturdy as it is but I have my hemp wrap on there and this is holding together quite well. I really like the results so far. So for this next step, I decided that I wanted to glue a crystal on there because what is an athame without a crystal? I have a little jar here filled with many crystals. I'm going to be adding probably just some mini quartz crystals on there. All right, you guys, so here's the results. I decided to glue a quartz crystal on there. As you guys can see, there are a few parts on here that of course can be tweaked, but I am so proud of this. I have some hemp crossed here and there, but it looks pretty great. Um, I know that you guys may know that quartz crystal is good for absorbing negative energy, so this will be perfect for my work. I hope you guys can get the same results as I did with mine today. All right, you guys, so that pretty much sums it up. If you guys liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below. And of course, don't forget to hit that bell button so that you guys can get notifications every time I upload a new video. I really hope this video helped you today. As I always say, do a good deed, spread that lunar love, and peace and love, man.